Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, there were three bears, Father Bear, Mother Bear, and Baby Bear. They all lived together in a pretty little house right in the middle of some woods. Father Bear looked after the flowers in the garden. Mother Bear kept the rooms neat and tidy, and Baby Bear helped with the washing up and the dusting. Father Bear always sat on his own very big chair, slept in his own very big bed, and ate out of his own very big bowl. Mother Bear always sat on her own middle-sized chair, slept in her own middle-sized bed, and ate out of her own middle-sized bowl. Baby Bear always sat on his own teeny weeny chair, slept in his own teeny weeny bed, and ate out of his own teeny weeny bowl. Every morning, Mother Bear went into her tidy kitchen and made porridge. When it was smooth and creamy, Baby Bear held out his bowl, and Mother Bear filled it to the top with lovely porridge. Then Father Bear held out his bowl, and Mother Bear filled it up to the top. Then she filled her own bowl, and when that was done, the three bears sat down to their breakfast. One morning, Mother Bear cooked the porridge just as usual. But when Baby Bear tasted it, he found that it was really much too hot to eat. Never mind, said Father Bear in his big gruff voice. The sun is shining, so why don't we all go into the woods for an early morning walk? When we return, the porridge will be just right for us to eat. That's a very good idea, said Mother Bear in her soft, gentle voice. And Baby Bear squeaked. We can play at hide and seek among the trees. Let's go. Baby Bear was so excited that he ran into the woods all by himself. But Father Bear called him back and took hold of his paw. I'll tell you about the trees and where the bees keep their honey, he told Baby. Listen to your father, said the Mother Bear, and you will grow to be wise like him. Meanwhile, as the three bears walked in the woods, a little girl with big blue eyes and golden yellow hair had come up upon their house. Her name was Goldilocks. I wonder who lives in that dear little house, Goldilocks asked herself, and she pushed open the gates and walked up the path. When she reached the front door, she turned the handle and the door swung open. Goldilocks stepped inside, wondering what she would find. The smell of porridge guided her into the kitchen. Goodness, Goldilocks exclaimed. Three bowls of lovely porridge. Ooh, I feel ever so hungry. And without more ado, she picked up the biggest of the three spoons and dipped it into the biggest of the three bowls of creamy porridge that were set out on the table. But oh dear me, the porridge in the big bowl was so hot that it burnt her tongue and Goldilocks dropped the spoon. I'll try the porridge in the middle size bowl. Goldilocks told herself, and she picked up the middle-sized spoon. Oh dear me, the porridge in the middle-sized bowl is so cold that little Goldilocks pulled a face and dropped that spoon too. Then she picked up the very small spoon and dipped it into the teeny weeny bowl. Now this is just right, Goldilocks cried, and she ate up all Baby Bear's porridge. After she had eaten all Baby Bear's lovely porridge, Goldilocks looked about her. She saw one very big chair, one middle-sized chair, and one teeny weeny chair. I'll try that very big chair first, she decided. I really must sit down. But oh dear me, the big chair was much too big and much too hard, and Goldilocks jumped up very quickly and ran to the middle-sized chair to see if it was any better. But the middle-sized chair was much too soft and lumpy, and Goldilocks left it and went to the teeny weeny chair. This was Baby Bear's very own chair, and Goldilocks was really rather too heavy for it. Soon the poor chair began to creak, and quite suddenly two of its legs broke right off. Up went Goldilocks's feet into the air, and then down she tumbled onto the floor. 
What a stupid chair, Goldilocks cried. Now it's all broken up. Then she made up her mind to go upstairs and see if she could find a comfortable bed to lie on. So upstairs she went. To her delight, Goldilocks discovered three beds in a row. There was one very big bed, one middle-sized bed, and one teeny weeny bed. I'll try them all, Goldilocks told herself. And with that, she lay down on the very big bed, which was Father Bear's bed. But Father Bear's bed was not right for Goldilocks. The pillows were too high, and the mattress was too wide and too hard. I'd better try the middle-sized bed next, Goldilocks decided. But somehow that bed wasn't quite right either. And besides, the teeny weeny bed next to it looked the most comfortable of all. So Goldilocks bounced off the middle-sized bed onto the teeny weeny bed. And that bed was exactly right. It wasn't too hard and it wasn't too soft. Goldilocks put her head on the pillow, pulled the sheets up to her chin, and shut her eyes. Soon she was fast asleep. As Goldilocks slept, the three bears came home. They were so tired and so hungry that they went at once to the table to eat up all their porridge. Somebody, father said suddenly, growled in his big gruff voice, somebody has been tasting my porridge. Somebody, said Mother Bear in her soft, gentle voice. Somebody has been tasting my porridge too. And somebody has been at my porridge and eaten it all up, squeaked Baby Bear in his thin, tiny voice. Look, my bowl is empty. And Baby Bear held up his bowl to show that it was empty, just as he had said. Never mind about the porridge, roared Father Bear in his big, gruff voice. Take a look at my big chair. Somebody has been sitting on it. Somebody has been sitting on my chair too, said Mother Bear in her soft voice. Then Baby Bear in his tiny, thin voice squeaked. Somebody has been sitting in my chair and has broken it all up. After that, it wasn't surprising that the three bears began to wonder what they would find if they went upstairs. Somebody has been lying on my bed, Father Bear growled in his big gruff voice as soon as they were inside the bedroom. Somebody has been lying on my bed too, Mother Bear said in her soft, gentle voice. And here is that somebody, squeaked Baby Bear. Here she is in my very own bed. The three bears looked down with angry eyes at the sleeping Goldilocks. Now they knew who had eaten the porridge and who had broken the chair, and who had bounced on their beds. She's a naughty girl, Baby Bear squeaked. What shall we do with her? Before Mother Bear could think of an answer, Goldilocks opened her eyes. She thought that the bears were part of her dream, so she rubbed her eyes hard. But alas, the bears did not disappear. Now, Goldilocks was really frightened. She threw herself off the bed and then she rushed across the room. Before the three bears could say honey, Goldilocks had run down the stairs and out through the front door. And do you know, she didn't stop running until she was safely home. The three bears didn't try to catch her. Instead, Mother Bear made some more creamy porridge and Father Bear mended Baby Bear's chair. Then they all sat down to a lovely breakfast hoping they would never see Goldilocks again, and they never did. The end.